Do you want to work in a kind of dangerous jobs like this one you see in this video? If your answer is yes, then this video could be for you. Working in high voltage, high altitude power lines is not an easy task, but these Chinese people seem to enjoy their kind of everyday work. So with that said, get ready to witness the most unbelievable and amazing power lines workers risking their lives for a living. Hey, what's up everyone? Arthur is back with something amazing to show you. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our great contents. And without further delay, here we go with my number one. Number one is Chinese electricians scale dangerous heights to work on high voltage lines. Chinese electrician conducts operation on live transmission grids to ensure steady power supply in China's eastern Shandong province. He works at altitudes of more than 100 meters high on 500 kilovolt power lines. He and his team have been working on several innovations, including developing new technology that would allow unmanned inspections and maintenance. Number two is skywalking on the 1100 kilovolt ultra high voltage lifeline in China. Chinese electricians have succeeded in simulating 1100 kV live line operation on an 88 meter high transmission tower at an 1100 kV ultra high voltage experiment center in the Changping district, Beijing. This is the first time in the world to try the live line operation on 1100 kV ultra high voltage power transmission line. The experiment involved the simulation of direct line tower tension support tower and typical coal tower, with all operations proceeding as scheduled. The experiment was an instant success as compared with the traditional operation. It requires few operators, lower labor intensity, but higher level of safety. Number 3 is Spider-Man Repair Power Lines in Sky in Hubei, China. Electrical workers, real-life Spider-Man, are repairing power lines at a height of 60 meters above the ground. The maintenance ensures safety of electrical lines and guarantees local electricity transmission. Number 4 is Chinese workers nap 50 meters above ground on transmission tower. Electrical workers who manage to catch naps 50 meters high above the ground on a transmission tower in central China have become an online sensation after video illustrating their comfort with heights was shared on social media. Most of the comments from Chinese social media used voiced respect for the workers who were filmed in Hunan province during a work break. Number 5 is Maintenance Team Walks the Wire to Replace Insulators on UHV Power Line.
what do you think is the most dangerous job in the world? We believe this could be a contender. A team in East China maintains ultra-high voltage power lines. They have to work 90 meters above the ground under the scorching sun on live power lines. Number 6 is Gansu section of world's first 1100 kV direct current line connected. The Gansu section of the world's first 1100 kV ultra high voltage direct current transmission link was fully connected in Shandan County northwest China's Gansu province. It stretches for 1,279.6 km and is connected by 2,289 transmission towers. The project sets a new world record in terms of voltage level, transmission capacity and distance. It is expected to be put into operation. Number 7 is World's Highest Voltage Transmission Project Completed in China The world's first 1100 kV ultra-high voltage direct current transmission line took final shape as the last large span tower was completed over the Yangtze River in East China's Anhui Province. The transmission line starts from the Changji Ui Autonomous Prefecture, Northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, and ends in the town of Guchuan, Wuhu City in East China's Anhui. It passes through six provinces and an autonomous region, totaling 3,304.7 kilometers and has a transmission capacity of 12 million kilowatts. This UHVDC power transmission project has the highest voltage, biggest transmission capacity, and longest transmission distance and the most advanced in technology in the world. And that's all there is to it for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.